Well, folks, Fletch's special brown water is almost ready to go. I've got some work to still do today. I think we can get ready to start harvesting and maybe build some more fields. I think we'll do both of those. Also, hey, maybe try and beat that comment record. See if we can do that today. Good luck. Anyways, let's do this thing. Pitter patter. Alright guys, so our first crop is, well, it's almost ready. It's going to take a little bit still. You can see corn off in the distance. We got uh, barley, barley and corn. But I figure, you know what? We got a bit of time. I'm trying to save as much cash as I can. I'm getting dinged a thousand bucks a day in maintenance charges right now. Ugh, that hurts. I haven't even bought a toolbox or anything yet to fix any equipment. I'm trying not to use any equipment really as much as I can just to try to save on cash. You can see we're at 43,000 bucks for right now. Yeah, we're doing okay as, as far as saving. But uh, like I said, I've got half a tank of fuel left in the John Deere. I'm going to need this for harvest time as well. So I'm really trying not to go too, too crazy. But I figure, you know what? We might as well. Can we till this up now? I think we should be able to till this up. There we go. We'll till this up. Uh, there's a field right here. I want to get this ready to go for at least next season. And uh, then we'll have another field. One more one more crop we can throw in right off right of the chute, which is going to be beneficial for us. Now, I gotta see. I don't know how far in this crop goes. Let's see. Uh, right up the side. Nice. Now, this one, I think, wraps all the way around, too. There's like a dirt road up here. We'll see if I can get to that. And right here is where this field ends. All right. So that's a decent sized field, I think, guys. And then later on, maybe I'll see if I can find a way to till that up down that way. That's the next field. I want to just do the hillside first. Like I said, guys, I really need to kind of just just take it easy here. I don't want to go too, too crazy. I've got I got to try and save what I can from the fuel. Um, you know what? I probably could get away with it. Maybe we'll do it. We'll see. I'm kind of on, I'm on the fence here, folks, as you can tell. John, you're still running good, by the way. I just yeah. Anyways, I haven't cleaned anything. I haven't fixed anything. I'm really just I, I'm twiddling my thumbs waiting for those crops to come up is really what I'm doing, guys. It's just a lot of waiting right now. So it's been, I think, it's been, we're almost through the season. I think we're almost through the season. You can see, I think we're in the last, last little bit here. Those crops are going to come due. And then, K Sims Brown. K Sims Special Brown. We can start, uh, we can start getting that into gear. Guys, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what we can pull off this. Like I said, that is the only thing, if you haven't been watching this series, that is the only thing we're doing in this series, guys. We are solely focusing on... Uh, the special brown, and we're going to see what we can get out of that. Holy, this is way steeper than I thought this was going to be. Look at how steep this is. Oh, man. I'm glad I've got the 7R. <laughs> oh, she's struggling, but she's going to do it. Yeah, I, I didn't think it dropped off that steep, but... Huh. Anyways, there you go. You can see the distillery at the top of the hill. It's waiting for us. Oh, I might have bitten off more than I can chew here. Look at this. So slow. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit here, guys. It's uh, it's definitely a bit of a struggle to get up this hill. All right, we're at the top. I can flip this back around again. I'm surprised that it's... Even the 7R is having some issues here. That is a... That's a real hilly... Really hilly hill? <laughs> yeah, nice words, Clutch. Keep it up. Um... All right, well, we made one lap, but you know what? Okay, so we have, you know what? I didn't even realize this. I thought this was just gonna be one field, but we've got actually two fields here that I'm gonna gain access to. I've got, well, this field right here, and I've got the second field down below, which we didn't even really know about. Um, guys, I just ran into something kind of funny. If I lift the, uh, the plow up down the bottom corner here, I physically cannot climb this hill. I have to actually have the plow down in order for it to climb. Otherwise, I just spin out. That's crazy. That is, that's how steep this hill is. It actually needs to have the plow down in order to get that front, those front tires off the ground. Otherwise, they just sit and spin and I lose all my power. Now, we're going to have two more fields. So if I plant them, one with wheat, or one with, sorry, corn, and one with barley, we should be able to set them, just offset them, so that there's always a crop that's coming due and always a crop that's going in the ground. And that way, well, case of special brown is always going to have fresh product going into it. We could, I mean, depending on how much we can get off these, in theory, all we would need maybe would be four fields, right? I mean, I'm trying to think of the timing here. 
It really depends on how quick it's going to make it. But that might be all we really need will be four fields. Now, guys, these fields are not really going to be ready anytime. Like, they're not going to be good for the next couple days here. I mean, we need to lime and we need to fertilize before we even think about planting. So just do the math on that. That's not going to happen for, well, the foreseeable future, at least. Let's, it's going to take us a couple days to get things set up here. But we're getting, the, you know, the start's done. We're getting things set up. And uh, once, you know, I bet you we'll get harvested done. We'll get those replanted. And then by the time that's back in the ground, then these fields, while well, that's growing, we can work on these fields again. But like I said, this stuff's going to be coming due today. So uh, we'll be moving on pretty quick here. Now, that being said, I can fertilize on the lime relatively quickly. I do have to buy more fertilizer, more lime. So that's one of the reasons I want to not worry about that. But I would like to actually have a better planter and a better seeder before we go too, too crazy. I'm looking at this hill and I might need a bigger tractor as well before we go too, too crazy on this stuff. You know what? This is not a giant field. Maybe the stuff we have, this might work okay. Especially if this is our barley field right here. Uh, yeah, that, we'll be able to pull up that. I think it'll get the horse for that. We should be able to pull that around no problem on this field, I would think. Okay, that first field's done. Let's go take a look at what our options are going to be over here. Now, there's kind of like this little... I, I don't want to say a road, but... Well, there's a, there's a road that comes down here. And it kind of comes to like a little bit of a plateau. So I'd like to leave this as, in case we want to build off this little area. It's kind of flat right here. I'd like to leave that. Right? That, that kind of makes sense, I think. This must have been a cow pasture at some point. So, if we can kind of start... You know what? Let's mask this out. We'll leave the plateau. I mean, that, that is a decent amount of space I could take, but... Eh, yeah, whatever. Um, the other thing I'm thinking is... Okay, we want to try to make it so it's roughly the same size, of course. Uh, since we are going to be using that double field technique I kind of alluded to earlier... Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've got that field right there. We'll have this one on this side. Okay. Now let's just kind of scooch this on up. And we're going to get up nice and close to the barley field from here. We'll leave this plateau here. I may... I don't know yet. It might be a spot for a shed for even a silo, potentially. Um, it, just even get a truck in here and turn things around, right? That's what I'm thinking. That's, that's what I'm thinking there. All right. Up to the side. And then right over to where the tracks go into this crevasse. And then now, guys, we have a long run down the hill. I mean, I could get closer, but if I hire Gertie down here, guys, I'm really worried about some tractors ending up on the tracks. <laughs> you guys have seen Gertie drive, right? Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about there. Anyways, so uh, let's get down to the bottom. That looks like a decent sized field. Now, this one, I think... I think, I think we're probably going to want to have, this is the corn. I try to usually put the row crops as the flatter of the fields and then the grain crops as, uh, as more of the hilly ones. So it just tends to work out easier for me. Oh, that's a lot of trees. I don't know if this is much flatter. Holy, look at the elevation change. Guys, these are crazy fields. Yeah, look at that. That's, oh, man, look at this. That's a massive hill. Um, I hope you can make it up. Come on, JD. Let's go. Hammer down. Get up there. This is going to take everything she's got. Looks like we're just wrapping this up. We're going to go check on those fields. I'll see if they're done yet. It'll be close. Uh, it'll be later today, I guess, most likely. But guys, you know what? I was just thinking. I asked you last time. Make sure you guys drop a comment. Beat the record. Our records for comments. Did, did you guys beat it? Y yeah, yeah, you definitely did. You smashed it. Nice. Nice work. You guys are awesome. You guys killed it. Killed it in the comments. Uh, I love it. Uh, I don't think we could do it again. I mean, that's, there was too many comments on that last video. Was, that's not going to get beaten, I don't think, anytime soon. But um, good good luck. Good luck, I guess. You can try. And look at this. It came due later on today. It took almost all day for this crop to, uh, to come due. But it's good to go. I think we're good. I've got the 9610. She's set up, ready to go. We've got our Mac Don header on. I've got all well, the John Deere once again is ready to go. Of course, we're going to abuse that with the bin. Um, so we've got to bring everything back over to this silo system. This is where we're going to store everything for the time being. 
and then uh we'll probably take larger sh shipments i've got well we got that truck along with a large bin later on that we'll have to use to take that over to our, our distillery guys but uh let's get this fired up i'll get the gertie going in a bit but uh this is such a nice combine. This thing's cool. Let's get this thing fired up. This is the first time I've used this one before. Now, how am I going to get into this field? I think I might as well go straight ahead. I was going to go through that international tractor there. It's just on the auger, so that's not going to work. Uh, let's drop the head in here and see if I can climb this little hill. Now, I'm not going to... I'm not bailing, guys. I am not bailing. There's no point. Oh, we don't need that since I'm not bailing. There we go. Um, yeah, there's no point in me bailing this since we're, we're not focusing on bales. We are solely focusing on well, Casey's special brown. And, uh, oh man, we're getting a thick yield off this. Already at 3%. Wow. Okay, that's, um, that's going to be a thick yield. <laughs> I'm going to have to get Gertie going on this sooner and later. Yeah, that's 10%. Guys, I've gone like 50 feet. That is crazy. Okay, that seems like... I, I think this is a pretty big bin on this, too, off the top of my head. Uh, once again, I'm in bushels, so I can't read. But we'll see. That's a lot. Oh, yeah, that's going to be good. All right, down the hill we go. And then hopefully we got the power to make it back up. I'm kind of concerned about that. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're making the hill. Not a, It's not too bad. I, I thought it was going to be worse than it is, but it's not bad. I got Gertie following behind. She can uh, come grab some more green once we're done here. You know what? I might... We'll see. Once we get, I hope I can get around this stretch here. If we get around this stretch, I think I might have room for her to pull up beside me. It's all telephone poles, though. We got telephone poles everywhere up here. Maybe not. Maybe that's not going to work for me. Oh, look. The, the corn's going to come due, too. We'll have to do that tomorrow. It's going to be too late. We'll get it tomorrow morning. We'll do it the first thing in the morning. But, uh, it's 80%. Is there going to be room beside? Eh, I might be able to get her to squeeze up here. Uh, it's gonna be awfully tight guys. I don't, I don't think so. I think we'll just we'll do one lap and then we'll get her up I'll, I'll just back it up in a sec here. Yeah, I've got her plowed into the woods. Oh, I hit some. All right, we're full. Let's back this on up She can just stay right there. Hopefully Stay there Gertie. Don't move Gertie. Oh, no, 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 no. It's going too far back There we go. Stay 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 put stay put. You don't need to go anywhere There we go. So we'll unload all this. We'll probably get maybe two Two to three in here. Maybe just two. Two dumps per bin. Uh, that's about it. And then we'll have to take these back to the silo. But, eh. That's, that seems like a decent yield. We just went down. You can see where we started, guys. Seems like a pretty decent yield so far. Uh, we're making do. We're doing all right. Oh, but this hill is giving me some grief. I wonder if this is steeper than the other one. This little spot right in here. All right. Now, this is going to be the moment of truth down here. I don't know if I should have Gertie driving or not. Maybe I should have her following behind, but eh, we're going to find out how she does. What do you guys think? <laughs> she might be okay. She might not be. We'll see. We'll see what she does. Yeah, stay right there, Gertie. Nice. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is... um. Well, you can see it, it's got to be pretty perfect. If she, oh, we're full. She is totally full. Okay, we don't need to put this out anymore. We can close that up. Uh, you know what? We might be in a spot where we can just bring her back. And, uh, yeah, that might work. She can just follow along with us for now. Okay, we're good. There's more room than I thought there was going to be here, guys. So, yeah, we'll bring her back to the shop. And uh, she can drop off when we get there. And then we should be almost full again. So, that took about... Oh, I mean, look at this. We're not even done a full lap yet. And... Uh, you guys can see that we've got a full bin and i'm gonna have probably another full bin in the in this harvester by the time we get back there that's substantial that's some st substantial barley we got coming out and while gertie's uh dumping off everything she's got you know what i might as well get rid of what i've got as well we just finished off the lap she's parked right in there should take it right did i just not hit it is that what i did i miss there we go double dump nice <laughs> Let's go take a quick look. Look at that. All right. So we're filling the hopper as it's dumping back out. That's uh, that's exactly... Can I get up on top of that? I can't really get up here. Can I? Oh, look at that. That is perfect. I love it. <laughs> nice. All right. She's got still a little bit to dump out, it looks like. I'm going to go back and uh, she can catch up to me in a sec here. That's... Oh, watch over that tractor. Crash counter. One. Um... 
Yeah. <laughs> that worked out really well. I dumped out really quick by comparison to her. Ah, uh, there we go. All right. Into the field we go. Let's drop the header down. And back to combining. Nice. Perfect. Golden fields. Get in my bin. Get in my belly. And look at that. There she comes already. Ready to go. Perfect. Good timing. That 50% of a tank just to get back to this spot. Uh, that's not bad. We're about halfway through the first part here. Look at that. We're getting there. It's going to get quicker as we go, guys. But uh, you know what? One lap, one dump. So probably for the next first three laps, we'll have to do that pretty much exclusively. Come on, Gertie. Get on up here. You can do it. I know you can do it. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, come on. Start unloading. Thank you. That's perfect. So she's uh, going to follow us around. We'll get this done. It shouldn't take us too much longer in the grand scheme of things, guys. I think it's going to be okay. Uh, it's a good size field, though. This is a good size field. I would love to have a second harvester with me on here. But uh, one harvester with Gertie in the, on the bin. Not bad. That's it, it's it's a workable solution for sure. It, she's a little bit difficult to deal with, but um, whatever. We'll, we'll figure her out. It's okay. Don't you guys worry about this. We'll get her done. So I'm going to put everything in the silo for the time being. Like I said, uh, we'll worry about corn tomorrow first thing and then uh, once the corn's done then we'll I think we'll take it all over together I still need to get water into that into the distillery as well I only have a tiny little thing for water that is going to be a mission to itself guys is getting all the water over there because it's it's such a pain with only I think we have 2,000 liters we can move over that ICBM tank is that right the ICBM isn't that a missile Another bin full. Gertie's back at the silo. Dump it out. Look at that. You can see all the green coming out. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. I like it. It's, looks like dollar bills to me. All right, guys. She's getting super, super late. Uh, well, not super late. It's 6 o'clock. I want some dinner. I'm getting out of here. We're going to call it a day here on the farm. We'll do the corn next time and get that. You know what? We'll see when we get the corn and get everything brought over and uh, put into the distillery. Start making some money. Um, worked out pretty well today. Got uh, not a lot left to do here, and 42 grand still in the bank account. I think we're gonna be okay. I don't want to say it too loudly yet, though. I really don't want to say it too loud. I think we're gonna be okay. I think I think we're gonna start making some serious cash. I've got enough money right now where I could afford to plant uh, another crop, even if if not. But uh, just thinking, you know, it's gonna be another thousand bucks tonight. We're gonna lose, but we should be okay. I think. Anyways, that's gonna do it for us today. I'm gonna go see Gertie go dump this last little bit off and uh, be done with our barley field looks pretty good that's a lot of barley we got guys i don't even know what the quantity is let's go take a look at in a sec here but uh that was a lot anyways hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did you guys know what to do slap that like don't forget to subscribe folks uh go and try and beat that comment record again i, I dare you <laughs> good luck and uh we'll try with you next time have a good day folks this is clutch over and out